Today's lesson is about lab safety. It is important to thoroughly understand all of the lab safety rules in order to participate in labs in our classroom this year. Before you watch the video, you may want to pause it so you can read the questions on the assignment ahead of time so you know what you are looking for. After you watch the video, fill out the questions on your assignment. If you are unsure about any of the questions, you may want to go back and re-watch certain parts of the video. Hmm. I wonder what Miss Wong's up to. What? It's just Gatorade. I think. Remember, you're supposed to treat all food-related items as if they are lab chemicals. You are supposed to wear goggles whenever you are heating or mixing chemicals. You need an apron whenever there is a risk of splashing chemicals on your clothes. You also sometimes need gloves if you are handling chemicals that are volatile or can irritate your skin. Well, I'm so glad that you're doing this lab with me before we do it with students. Oh, no problem. So what are we supposed to do? We're just mixing these two things together? Well, hold on, let me read the directions first. Um, it says you're supposed to actually mix the blue into the red, not the red and blue. What difference does it make? They're all going to end up in the same one. Well, that's what the directions say. I, I, I don't think it matters. Let's review the lab safety rules and discuss why they're important. Lab safety rule number one, enter the room calmly and quietly and sit in your assigned seat. Some of the equipment in the science lab may be dangerous. Some of it may be fragile. Running into the room or creating a disturbance as you enter could cause damage to the equipment or injury to you or others. Enter the room carefully. Rule number two, listen to directions carefully. Misunderstood directions could result in doing the lab incorrectly. This could cause you to get the wrong results. Worse still, it could become a safety hazard. Listen to the directions carefully and ask questions if you do not understand something. Lab safety rule number three. Wait until after directions to touch the equipment. Water is a colorless, odorless liquid. So are many chemicals that are flammable, corrosive, or toxic. You cannot make decisions about the safety of items just by what they look like. Do not handle the lab items until the teacher has had a chance to explain the safety precautions you need to follow. Lab safety rule number four. Do the lab as directed. In order to finish the lab on time, you should stay on task. You should also use the equipment only in the manner you have been told. Do not misuse the equipment. Avoid horseplay. Lab rule number five, treat all food-related items as if they are lab chemicals. Many times in science, food items are used as lab chemicals. Because they have not been taken care of properly as food, they should not be eaten. Because the lab is not a clean place to eat, never bring food, beverages, or gum into the lab to consume. Do not eat or drink in the lab unless you're directed to by a teacher. Lab safety rule number six, keep the work area clean. Keep your work area clear. Bring only class materials needed for science. Keep your lab table clear of unnecessary items and clean spills immediately to avoid damage to your belongings and the lab equipment. Lab rule number seven, put all of the equipment away as directed at the end of the lab. Everything has a place where it belongs. Be sure to listen to the cleanup directions and follow them. Lab safety rule number eight. Wear safety goggles when directed by the teacher. Goggles are not necessary for all labs. Whenever we are heating or mixing chemicals, or when there may be a chance of eye injury, lab goggles should be worn. When you are wearing goggles, they need to stay on at all times. 
If they need to be adjusted, feel free to step out into the hallway and adjust them. Goggles should stay on until everyone in the room finishes the lab. Lab rule number nine, report all accidents to the teacher. Accidents do happen. When they do, report them immediately to the teacher. The teacher will instruct you on how to clean it up safely. Some things like broken glass must always be cleaned up by the teacher. Lab safety rule number 10. Know the location of first aid and fire safety equipment. There are many pieces of safety equipment located in the labs. There may be fire extinguishers, fire blankets, first aid kits, showers, and eye wash stations. Of course, these items are of no use if you do not know where they are or how to use them. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about any of these science lab rules, please ask your teacher. Be sure to complete the questions on the assignment now and have it ready to turn in at the beginning of the period tomorrow. Thank you.